Hello, everyone. Welcome to Explore Messaging Apps. My name is Ole Kagan. I'm the Community Engagement Coordinator for LA County Library. Before we get started today, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping, and then I'll introduce our speaker and get going into exploring messaging apps. As you can see, the mics and videos for all attendees have been disabled, and the reason for that is so that everybody can focus directly on the presenter and the PowerPoint on the screen and not get distracted by everyone else's voices and faces. However, that's not to say that we do not relish your questions. We absolutely want you to ask the questions that you do have. And you can do that either in the chat or the Q&A. I've got to say, I prefer if you put the questions in the Q&A because it's easier to follow them. But if you have comments, do put them in the chat at any time during the presentation. Now, if you're having trouble hearing or seeing me or seeing the slide on the screen, please do let me know in the chat and I'll do my best to assist with technical issues. Uh, before I move on, actually, do you hear me? Do you see me? Can you let me know in the chat if everything works all right? Give me the thumbs up, emo emojis or anything in the chat is good. All right, I'm getting a few responses that uh, I'm coming through loud and clear. Perfect. I see hands, audio, perfect. All right, thank you, everybody. Now, for those who do choose, you can listen to the presentation on the phone if you're not getting it through your headphones or um, you just want to walk around the house and listen um, you can do that by calling the number on the slide that number is 1669-900-9128 and the meeting id is 873-1304-3775 all right with that i would like to introduce our speaker for today Adriana Albazuras is a MAKEMO or a Maker Mobile librarian, which means she presents STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math programs all over the county for ages zero through 99 and above. Essentially, she drives a exciting multicolored van to all sorts of places, including parks, schools, senior centers, and a great variety of locations. Today, she'll be presenting on a topic and giving you a vast overview of a variety of messaging apps that are out there. I'm excited to hear the presentation because there are some new ones for me too. So with that, I would like to bring to the stage Adriana Alvizuras. Adriana, take it away. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Um, yes, so <laughs> we're going to do explore video chat apps. Um, this is something that has helped me out a lot, especially because I was so um, distant from family during this pandemic. So I actually opened up to using video chats during this time, and I'm actually a lot more comfortable around it. But we're going to talk about a little bit of that, and we are going to understand um, different ways to use chat and video chats. Um, but really, Staying in touch has never been easier with video calls. We are now able to connect visually and enhance our long distance communication experiences. So it's all about not missing out on a chance of a face-to-face -face interaction. So common worries that come with video chat, and I'm not, I am, I am, familiar with this. This is one of the reasons why I would avoid video chat. So sometimes it's a technical issue. Um, for example, internet connection, sound and image quality, dropped or failed calls. This can get very annoying and it kind of doesn't, it makes you not want to do it if you know you're prone to technical issues. Um, like it's not even funny, but it happened to me yesterday where I wasn't doing video chats, but I was using my laptop to record some videos. And the image quality was, was not syncing with my, my lips. The video wasn't syncing with my lips. It looked blurry and I was getting very annoyed um, because I lost all the videos that I was recording. So these are stuff that it's real, it does happen, but it could be temporary. We can move forward from this. We can change locations. We can 
we can change things. So it's not a reason to not use video chat either. Another thing is that it's intrusive. Um, a lot of people like their privacy. Um, they don't want to show their face. Um, but that's the beauty of video chat is that sometimes you could just do your voice. Sometimes you can do what I'm about to do right now, which is I can mute my camera where you can just hear me. Or if I do want to show my face, So I have a choice. You have a choice of when you want to show your face, when you want to mute yourself. These are about choices. And I changed the, Ooh, why isn't it going back? <laughs> there we go, oh, too far. So it can be intrusive, but we have a choice of when we want to video chat. And also another thing, self-conscious. What if I have a zit this morning and I don't want to show it? Luckily, I didn't, <laughs> but it, we are self-conscious about how we look, but it's all about the choices, um, choices that we, um, whether or not we want to do video chat. So these are real problems that we deal with, um, but we have a choice of how we can um, use video chat as well. So why use video chat apps? It does improve communication. You can also build better relationships with family, friends, colleagues, or dating. Um, you're able to collaborate. Um, you're efficient. You're productive. You can be consistent. So a good example is like, let's say I, I need to talk to my mom. I'm cooking a recipe. That's what I love. I've seen a lot of commercials where they're doing recipes and I can call my mom and she can see whether or not I'm doing the, the dish correctly or not. Or I wanna show off this new painting instead of me taking a picture, they can also see the process of how I'm doing it. But you're also saving time and money. Not too long ago, I, have, I was part of a gender reveal, but it just so happened that I was not in the area. I was kind of out of town. I was taking care of a family member. And so I could, if, even if the event was um, at a location, I would not have been able to go. But through video chat, a family member could call me through video chat and I could see it, the moment of the gender reveal. And so I don't have to miss out on these opportunities. You see video chats during concerts or any kind of events. So that's why you can save time. You can save um, on traveling. Um, our gas prices went skyrocket not too long ago. I mean, we still are. And with the gender reveal, all of our family members across uh, country and where my family is from, we were all there together and we were able to be part of this moment. So that's how video chats have become so useful. And these are all the different types of video chats, and there are more. This was part of one of the hardest parts of doing this program. I was like, which one do I choose? There are so many. And what did I end up doing? I chose all of them. <laughs> I couldn't pick and choose. There were just so many. Um, but they all follow kind of the same feature. So you'll see how I'll categorize how about the features. And at the end, you can choose which ones you would like. So there are also different devices in order to use video chat. So these are just a few examples. Um, we have Amazon Echo Show, Google Nest, Facebook Portal, smartphones, tablets, laptops, and computers with a webcam. So a lot of times laptops or computers will have in a webcam on the laptop or on the computer. Or you can buy an attachment like a webcam and attach it to your device in order to um, start web um, doing a video chats. So it's all about exploring different options. I like using my phone, but if you prefer laptops or you prefer a device like Echo Show or Google Nest, that is also fine. It's all about exploring the different options. And of course, you can have more than one. So Different things that we're going to talk about today is getting started, how to get started with video chats. 
we're going to look into face to face so more of the live um, chats, but also sending video messages. Um, so just like you send a text, you can send a video message as well. And there are different ways to make it fun as well. Um, you don't just have to do a blank, um, I mean, not a blank, but just like a live video chat. Like right here, I have a background to make it more fun, more, and more exciting. So there are different ways in order to make a video chat more fun. We're gonna talk a little bit about video confidential, like the privacy aspect. And at the end, we're going to talk about choosing the right app. Ooh, what happened here? Okay. So getting started. So we all get started with registration. All of them will use the same format. Um, so the display may look different, but they're going to have the same format where you need to input a phone number and the, you need to verify whether or not that phone number is working or if it's yours or if it's correct. So what you do is you'll add your phone number. They're going to send you a text or an email with the security code, the, the security code, oops, with the security code. You'll write in the security code and you, you click next. And that just means that that phone number will be part of that account. You can also confirm with an email. So it's up to the app which ones they you are, which ones you would prefer to um, use. So you can either do phone number or you can do email, but it is up to the app which ones it is. So sometimes it's both, sometimes it's just phone number. And then it comes to allowing access. These apps will not do anything unless you allow access to certain features on your phone. So here it'll display a message. For example, here, it's asking the user to make video calls, give access to your microphone, camera, and contacts. Plus let Google Duo send you notifications so that you know when someone is calling you. What that means is that it'll either show as a banner or on your front screen um, how you want to be notified or whether or not you don't want to be notified. Um, so you have to give access to those kind of features. So here on the first one, it'll ask you um, access to camera. You can say okay or don't allow. Um, it'll ask you if it can have access to your microphone. But if at any time you want to say, no, I don't want to, you can choose that you don't want it to use your microphone. But let's say later on you change your mind, you can go back to your settings and change it. So this can be changed. So even if you, let's say you go to where you, you want to give it access to your photos and you allow access to your photos, if at a later date you change your mind and you don't want it to have access to your photos, you can change it in your settings, in the app settings. Same thing goes with your contacts. It'll ask you if you can sync um, to your contacts and actually it'll ask you more than once. So if you see here at the getting started, it'll ask you if you want to give it access um, and it's asking you here, but it may ask you more than twice. Um, but it's just to make sure that you do want to, you do want the app to have access to the contents on your phone. So at any time you can change your mind. You can also, let's say you don't have friends on this app. You can send a link to the app from the app, telling your friends through your, like a text, telling them that, hey, I'm on this app, why don't you join me? So anytime you want someone else from your contacts list to join you, you can create a link and send it to them, but they do have to download the app. So how do, to get started with the video icon? So you'll notice that all of these look like video cameras, um, but they'll have something different. You just need to look for a logo that looks something similar to a camera. And that is how you start a video message. And you can include people from your contacts list, or you can type in the name of the username. So this is how you can get started with a video, um, with a video chat. You just need to look for the video icon. 
So now let's get started with face-to-face. So you can do live chats. You can either do one-on-one. I just wanna say thank you to my friends um, from Makemo and of course the Big Bad Wolf um, for helping me with these um, images. But you can do one-on-one or you can create a group chat. Now, it, depending on the app, it may be different the number of people that can be part of a group chat. And we're gonna talk about that later. But here is just a small group of um, three people. And here is just two people, so you can change it. You can also change the video display. Um, For the most part, you'll see it as the first one where the person you're calling is going to be the big display and you are going to be the small window. That small window can also be moved around. So I started off here at the bottom corner and then I move myself to the middle, but I can also move it to the top, to the side. And if you, at any time you wanna move it somewhere where you're not supposed to, oh, move it back to where it needs to go. So it's okay to play around with things, but you can also adjust settings. Now this is not available on all apps. Some apps are as is, um, but with other apps, they allow access to changing the display. So here I was able to change where I'm the bigger picture and the person I am calling is a smaller picture. So you can definitely change things. So also with face-to-face, even during live, you can still video message during a video call. So what it'll do is it's going to minimize your video icon. So here you can see that it's smaller, but I clicked on the message bubble and now I'm typing in. And if you're wondering, why do I need to message if I'm already talking to the person? But maybe you want to share a picture. Maybe you want to share um, a link um, to a website. And hey, like, hey, check out this uh, new program from the library. I think you'll like it. And you're video messaging them. And, and you can also leave the messaging and go to other websites. So don't feel like you have to stay on the video chat, you can move around. Um, I'm often guilty of going to other websites or being on a different social media when I'm video chatting with someone and that person's like, hey, why aren't you paying attention to me? And I'm, I'm on a different website. <laughs> but it's okay that to, to move away from the video chat and go to a different, um, go to a different application. It'll tell you whether or not um, you can do it. It's very hard to hang up on a video chat unless you close the application or you click on the hang up button. So it's okay to move away from the video chat if you wanna go to a different display, if you're on a phone or on a tablet. And same thing with with a webcam on a laptop. So sending video message, this is when it's not live, where you can record a video on your phone or on the laptop and you can send a recording. If you're wondering, why don't I just use a text? Remember with a video, you can connect more on a personal level and you can reduce uh, miscommunication. A good example is like, let's say my mom tells me, hey, I need you to buy some apples um, at the grocery store. And I know my mom is driving, she's gonna be on the, on the road for like 20 minutes and I'm like, I get to the store and there's like five different kinds of apples. Like what if she wants Granny Smith and I see pink ladies, I see Fuji apples. I'm like, which one do you want? I don't know which one you want. And I can do a video of the different apples. I can include the prices. And I can also tell my mom like, hey, if you can't get back to me by the time I leave the grocery store, I'm gonna buy the pink ladies cause they're on sale. So that way, let's say it's too late She was actually stuck in traffic for 40 minutes. I'm already gone at the store. My mom already knows that I bought the pink ladies. And so that's what makes video chat, video messages an ideal uh, way of communication. They can see the apples um, or just in case I'm still there, I can still at the grocery store, I can still go back and return the apples. And my, my mom can like make a message. Actually, I need you to buy the Granny Smith apples because I'm gonna do caramel apples and the pink ladies are not gonna work. 
So that way I get the message loud and clear. And it's not just like a, a text where I'm like, does she really want me to get the apples? There's no confusion. But I do wanna highlight Marco Polo because this one was one of the most unique apps that I looked through. Um, it's only video messages. Um, you can't do live videos, um, so you can't call them directly. But what I like about it is a string of videos and you can go and like, it's linear. So anyone who's part of this group chat, whether it's two people or more, they can go back and watch the video messages. This will reduce the amount of confusion. So let's say, for example, we just had a gender reveal from my cousin and maybe my aunt wants to plan a baby shower. She can send out a video message to the group and say like, hey, what ideas or what um, baby shower ideas, themes do you think we should do? What foods do you think we should do? We can start a video, a string of videos and reduce confusion unless we like in case we miss anything through text and we can show pictures as well like hey i saw this at the store what do you guys think of doing um purple and green for colors we're reducing um confusion and at any time we can go back and see like oh remember when um rebecca said that she was gonna cook um enchiladas um, why don't we do that? And that's all in video. But of course, it's also about having fun. Video chats can be fun as well. Um, I definitely have fun with using FaceTime because I can add a memoji, which is like a, fast, a mask um, on my face. I like using this with my nephew. He has fun with it. Or let's say, I wake up one day and I don't like the way I look. Um, I don't feel like doing my makeup, but I still wanna do a video chat. I can add filters. So Viber here can add filters. Um, what I also like about Google Duo with this, what makes this one special is that I can draw things on this one. So if I want to, I can play Pictionary with my nephew. Can anyone guess what movie this is from? <laughs> If you're thinking Jurassic Park, no, it's Lost World. <laughs> but video chats can be a lot of fun. Here is an example of Zoom where I changed the background. And again, I used an avatar and it's a little cat. So it's all about having fun with Instagram. Same thing. I can add filters. Um, here I am as a gift. <laughs> Um, what I also like about uh, Snapchat is like I can be a pirate. Uh, fun fact with Duolingo, a way of to learn English, I mean, learn languages on our um, resources and programs that we have through um, our library card. With your library card, it's all free with Duolingo. You can learn to speak pirate. And now you have a free costume through uh, Snapchat. Hey, Adriana, I think, I think you mean mango, right? Mango. What did I say? You said Duol Duolingo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Duolingo, Mango. Mango. Duolingo. Duolingo, also a great app, also free, uh, but not but free with no library card. Du Mango, free with, Mango. with a library card on our website. Thank you, Oleg. <laughs> sure, I was like, I heard, I heard du Duolingo, and I was like, what? Wait, hold on a second. All right, no, carry on. With Mango, it's free with your library card, and you can learn to speak pirates and use this awesome filter from Snapchat. <laughs> All right, but you can also add words. You can draw on your face with Marco Polo. What I also like about Marco Polo is that you can change your voice. So you can make a voice effect using a robot or something macho or helium. Helium is always fun. So that's what I liked about um, Marco Polo is that you can change your voice effects. Uh, Snapchat, you can add more filters, add stickers. Um, you can really edit on Snapchat or like on Instagram. So if you want to remove some images or cut things out, you can do that with that. Instagram, same thing. 
And here is a table and don't worry, you're going to get this as an email. Um, but here is a table of all the different features and the fun features that these different apps have. So if we look at um, Google Duo, you'll see that it doesn't really have a lot of video accessories, but you can um, change the, uh, the background, you can blur it. You can see that they have video filters. Um, or if we look at Facebook Messenger, you can change the background and you have individual and group effects. So you can see which one and explore which one you like. Now we're gonna get to video confidential. All of the videos, I mean, all of the video chats will have end-to-end -end encryption. Now, what is end-to-end -end encryption? What that means is that, let's say person A sends a message to person B. When you send that message, you are using a key that will encrypt your message and send it to the app. The app cannot read that message, but it's encrypting it. And it's not until person B uses person A's private key to unlock that message. Now this happens very quickly, but that is the idea of what's happening with end-to-end -end encryption is that your message is encrypted and no one else can open it unless they have your key to unlock the encryption. And it works the same way in return. When person B sends um, you a message, it goes through the app. Remember, the app cannot read your messages. It's not until person A with person B private key can unlock that message. And what does that look like? It's going to look like this. It's going to have this lock symbol and the app will tell you messages in this chat are private and protected by Viber's end-to-end -end encryption. Or here on WhatsApp is going to give you a message. Messages and calls are end-to-end -end encrypted. No one outside of this chat, not even WhatsApp, can read or listen to them. And if you want to find out more about it, you, it gives you the option to click on it if you want to learn more. So you want to look for these symbols and, and those type of messages. And it does tell you when you're downloading the app, whether or not, what type of um, encryption they use. And the, for, for, the, for the most part, all of them are end-to-end -end encryption. So now choosing the right app. Here is another table that you guys are all going to get. It's going to uh, it's going to give you information of how um, you can register, whether by phone or email, whether or not it uses live chat. Marco Polo is the only one that I have come across that does not use live chat. Whether or not you can do video messages, again, all of them do, and a table of how what's the max of group calls. Um, whether or not you can access um, these video chats through um, a website. So let's say you don't want to use your phone, but you want to use your laptop. Um, these are the ones that um, are, you are able to access through Windows or, or your MacBook. Whether or not these have enhanced features and these enhanced features are the ones that make it fun. So you can go back to that table. And the type of encryption, as I mentioned, practically all of, all of them use end-to-end um, -end encryption. So more tips of um, video messaging. Remember, you can choose whether or not you want to mute your camera or microphone. The only exceptions are like for school or, um, work. You know, oftentimes if there's a meeting, um, my supervisor will say like, hey guys, um, I do need you guys to turn on your cameras. We would like to see you or um, you're in class um, and they tell you like, hey, um, we need to see you. Please turn on your camera or just like right now during this meeting, uh, my supervisor, um, oh, like he just he told you guys like, hey, for this program, you guys are actually muted and your cameras are off um, because we want you guys to focus uh, on the camp, I mean, on the program, but put your comments in the chat. So um, for the most part, you have a choice whether or not you can choose to mute or um, have it unmuted your camera and your microphone. 
But I also recommend is check your surroundings. So now I learned to mute my <laughs> echo device because it will, if it hears anything um, that is its key word, it's going to talk. And then I'm going to be like, oh, embarrassing moment. <laughs> so check um, the people around you. Like, where are you in terms of noise? Um, is it the appropriate setting? So if you're at a party, it's probably not a good idea to have a meeting at a party because of loud noise and a distraction and, and other distractions, or perhaps there's a dog or perhaps there's construction going on outside. So you do want to check your surroundings, whether or not it's the right time to have a video chat. And remember, you can have more than one app. If you want to, um, like I use WhatsApp with family, with friends, I just stick with FaceTime. So I do have more than one um, um, video chat option. So you can have more than one. You also want to check your connection. Um, early this morning, my Wi-Fi was not working so well. So what I ended up doing was I ended up connecting my laptop to with the Ethernet. So that way it has a more direct um, uh, connection instead of it being using the Wi-Fi. But that's why I dropped my Wi-Fi because I dropped, I stripped over the cord. <laughs> um, but so those are things that you want to check before you get started. Um, and also you can wait until you're ready. Um, you, this is your moment of doing video chat. And let's say you just woke up and someone tells you like, hey, let's video chat you have a choice to tell them like, hey, actually, I'm not ready right now. Give me give me like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so it is your choice of when you want to do a video chat or whether you don't want to. And at any time, if you want to end it, you can. You can tell them like, hey, um, I'm actually going to go, um, I'm actually gonna go into my room. I'm gonna mute the camera for a second, but I still wanna hear you. So I'm just gonna mute it really quick. Um, it's happened before where like, let's say I'm driving and I'm in the drive-thru and I don't want my mom to hear my drive-thru options. So I mute it and I'm talking to the person um, at the restaurant and the person I'm talking to can't hear what my menu options are. Um, that's my choice. I don't want that person to know what I'm about to eat. It's my choice. So I can mute my microphone whenever I want. And now we're here with references services. So at any time you have any more questions, um, please um, speak to a librarian. You can contact us. You can call your local library. You can text us Monday through Friday from 12 to 6 at 626-394-4019. You can also email us. And we also have Instant Librarian Monday through Friday from 12 to 6. And all of this is available at lacountylibrary.org slash contact us. We also have library resources with Emily Post Manners in the Digital World, Living Well Online, How to Win Friends and Influence People in the Digital Age, and finally, Kill Reply All, a modern guide to online etiquette from social media to work to love. And that is the end of our program. But of course, we have our Q&A. So thank you, everyone. Thanks, Adriana. That yeah. was a very informative presentation. I know I've learned <laughs> a lot about how you can functionally use things and how you can have fun with different messaging apps. And, this, sure. and, and also the fact that there's so many out there. And, there are so, and I didn't even cover all of them. No, this is <laughs> just, it's a, it's a huge, and each of them have slightly different audience targets and, you know, different functions that you can do. So, sure. so we had a question and if you do have questions, folks out there, now is the time to put them in the chat. Um, we don't have a whole lot of questions. So, oh, Alan wrote, uh, it feels like you're just skimming the surface. And that I, I think yes. that's, that's true. Yeah, it is very true. We are, I am just doing an overview of all of these video messaging apps. Um, the only reason I talked more about Marco Polo was because it was so unique compared to the other ones where all of them will be, oh, 
All of them are more about live chats, video messaging. And so they all have the same display. It's only slightly different things like um, like the features of editing, um, not editing, but like the effects. So that's those are the only few changes between all the apps. Marco Polo was the only one that was really unique where it doesn't have live chat and it's more about streamed videos. So, um, and th the fact that you can change your voice, I was like, oh, <laughs> sold. I want to sound like a robot. <laughs> so yes, yes this you do. <laughs> Um, so this very much was just an overview um, of the different apps. Yeah. So then we had a question. Um, let me let me give you the there's a there's a backstory. So I'm part of a knitting group with mostly older ladies, and we've tried to set up a group text for announcements, etc., and just communication. Uh, some of the ladies have iPhones, and others have Android. So we're able mm -hmm. to use iMessaging. App. We aren't able to use iMessaging app to name a group. Mm -hmm. Um, and we keep having glitches whereby when the leader who has an iPhone tries to set up a group chat, it somehow shows up as two groups, one with some of the people on and other with the rest of the people. So um, this questioner was hoping to hear about some other platforms that might be useful for text groups. So this is not a video messaging question, but it is a communication question. So I, was, I wonder yeah. if you had some suggestions. I, that's why I liked Marco Polo. That's why I liked it was because um, let's say I'm going to use a book club, for example, I can do a video message. Let me just do, let me get into the moment. <laughs> like, hey guys, it's, we have May coming up. What titles do you guys want? Send me a video of the different titles you want. And I will send out an email with the different titles, but send me a video and a short description of the different titles. Now I sent that out to the group. Now the whole group can view that message. And I don't have to choose, like, let's say someone said, oh, let's do little women. Um, why don't we do little women in, in, for May? Um, actually, that would have been a good book for March. <laughs> um, do you get it, Lower Lake? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we could have done um, little women. Um, and so let, let's say the next person is like, um, you know what? I don't know what book I want, but you know what? A little women sounds good. So I'll do little women. And so you can do a live video. You can also show the book. Like, hey guys, I want to do this one. Oh, <laughs> you know, you can right show. There. Yeah, it's an art book. <laughs> I just grabbed a new book on my bookshelf. Um, so like, I want to do this book and you can show the cover and you can do the video and you can show your excitement. You can really persuade them. Like, guys, I really want to do this book. I just read it. I think you guys are going to like it. And it's not just a, like a text, you know, saying like, hey, I think we should read this book. Like it's just a text versus a video. You can show your excitement. You can show the cover and everybody in your group and chat can see it. Now you can do video messages on practically all of the video chats that I sent out, but it's just what I liked about Marco Polo is like, it's, it removes the live video. So like, let's say you don't want to talk live. You don't even want to give the other people the option to do live. And so that's why I liked Marco Polo and it had really fun effects. So um, that's why I, I, I talked more about Marco Polo. It was because it was more unique, but you can really do this with any of the social media app in those social media. Yeah, well, yeah, social media apps or video messaging, any of those downloads. Adrian, I'm going to be have, right back. Okay. You can really do any of those apps. Um, and do video messages. So if you all agree on doing, um, oops, if you all agree on doing like using Viber or using um, Telegram, if you all, and, and all of them are available on um, the App Store or on the Google, um, Google Play. So as long as you all agree to download this app, then you guys have all access to those features. Yeah. So, and then if we wanted, if they want to just keep it to text, the it is a challenge. If you start the group with, with the, I did some research on. If you start the group at with an iPhone, because it uses iMessage, it'll create that break. Um, but you can, if you're going to use iMessage, the that you can 
if you set up the group, you can text it as an SMS message instead of as an iMessage message. And that'll yeah. actually let you keep everybody, but you won't be able to add or subtract people from the group, which is inconvenient if you want to, if you get new members to the knitting group. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there is a workaround. I mean, one workaround is to have somebody else start the group. Um, somebody with an Android phone to start the group because then everybody will be included um, and you know then you can add subtract people or use a different uh, text messaging app um, for example signal um, which is a, an encrypted it's a, a, a messaging app that comes with encryption um, and so then then people can use just that one app for interacting with with the uh, knitting group members not ideal solutions but you know uh, Apple created this kind of partition mm -hmm. and yeah not, not great so other questions um can all of these apps or can any of these apps be used on a pc um and if uh there's so there's and there's one more question well let's do that one question first and then we have the next question so i'm um, we're sending out an email with the uh, tables um a, on that list it'll tell you whether or not you have access to a web page whether or not you have access through the web so for example snapchat you can't do you can't use it on a web you have to have it on a smartphone or a tablet you have to have it that way so with any of those apps it will always tell you at the app store or at google play how what platform you're able to use it yeah so, it's, so it sounds like each individual one has its own um, ways of using it. Most yeah. of them I think are designed to be used with the phone, but um, some of them with like a laptop, it, you know, you have a video, so it might actually yeah. work. So like Zoom right mm -hmm. here, um, I can use it on, I'm using right now on my laptop. I can use it on my phone. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all about, um, it's, it's the app's choice, like how they want to present mm -hmm. it. Um, so like I said, Snapchat, you can only use it on a smart device or tablet. Um, but there are other ones where you can use it um, different ways. Sounds good. And then uh, should this, should, if people who are installing these apps be concerned with how much memory um, they need to install it on their, on their phone or their computer? So, yeah. Um, so uh, an example would be like Snapchat. Um, it will, like, it, you can give it access to like how you want to download pictures. So like, let's say I take a picture and it'll ask you whether or not you want to keep it in your gallery or not. So it'll use more space. So the more contacts you have also, the more storage is going to use off your phone. Um, those are all things that you can view on your settings. Of Sorry, I think there was a crash on my door. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. So we were talking about like construction earlier, distractions yeah. during, during presentations. Yeah. Right, I, I just heard a crash, I think. <laughs> I hope they're okay. <laughs> I hope they're okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, you, you have a choice of that. Yeah. yeah. So like, it sounds uh, like the, uh, the apps themselves, I mean, they're they're no different from any other apps in terms of the amount of space yeah. they take. So, you know, it yeah. it's like every app that you install, it takes up some room. But because yeah. like what you mentioned, they're they're they store media and mm -hmm. especially videos, they can take up, you know, that can be quick quickly take up a lot of room so with yeah. that so sort of I remember thing. when I was for another event that I had I had to, I had a social media event I mean not social media a social media um what was it called whirlwind of so, social uh, well, media you, you did a whirlwind tour of social media yeah I was downloading all of these apps on my phone and I remember when I downloaded TikTok it was like oh no you don't have sufficient storage for TikTok and when I looked at the storage the amount of storage it needed it needed a lot so i actually had to remove a lot of pictures i had to remove a lot of unnecessary apps in order to make tiktok work on my phone so yeah. it's going to tell you whether or not you have enough room okay and then using phone for video uh when is one on a cellular network and or on the internet that's a i think that's more of a general phone question um, so it's not necessarily it doesn't video it doesn't relate to video. Um, no. So when when you're on the cellular network, um, usually it'll you know on the top of on the top right hand side of the phone there will be some bars. Those are usually for the internet, and then there's a um, it's there's an, a different icon um, when you're on a on a Wi-Fi network. 
So it depends on if you have Wi-Fi automatically turned on, if you have Wi-Fi turned on on your phone and you have networks around you. So I usually have Wi-Fi off by default. So my phone is always on a cellular network because I have unlimited data. So I'm, I'm always on a cellular network unless I specifically choose to uh, turn on my Wi-Fi. And then there's only certain places where it'll connect because like if I'm at home, it recognizes the network and it'll connect. If I'm at my parents' house, it'll connect to the network. But if I'm just out and about, chances are it won't connect to randomly to networks. Um, so mm -hmm. if you if you have a data cap on your phone um, for um, like if you can only use a certain amount of gigabytes per month, a lot of phones are unlimited these days. But if you if you have a data cap, then you might you might worry about um, video uh, uh, video uh, messaging because video tends to take up a lot more room. I mean, it takes up a lot more um, bandwidth than other types of communication, like especially text communication. The only concern I can really think about is like um when you're messaging like it'll fail the the sent message like it'll tell you like oh can't send like you don't have a good connection yeah so that that's the only thing like you just want to make sure you have full bars or that you're connected to your um, wi-fi network your phone. yeah okay. um and then uh, do i need to engage my data to use the apps um, I think I just I inadvertently just answered that question. Yes, yeah, the, uh, yeah. These apps will use these apps are they use data? They're pretty data intensive, actually. Yeah, and I'll ask you also. I didn't mention it in the other ones, but I'll ask you like because you you are sending your phone number, so it is using your plan, um, like to to give access because you're using your phone number to register. So sometimes they'll give you a message like, um, do you want to use your data plan to send us text? You know, so it'll ask you anytime that it, you you have to give it permission um, in order to do, to send any pictures, to have access to your accounts. So it'll always ask you whether or not, and it'll give you the option if you want to learn more. So if you're confused, look for that learn more option. Uh, somebody somebody asked this is unrelated how can we suggest topics we would like to learn about well we have a post event survey just for that with the last question on that <laughs> survey is uh, is what what else you would like to learn i'm going to post a link to that in the chat right now and then we'll continue answering the other questions i love talking about our post event survey because i love receiving responses on the post event survey i read all of them um, i appreciate whether it's whether it's positive feedback whether it's negative feedback um i like all i like all the responses and i love the suggestions because you know, we try to we try to respond to people's suggestions if you yeah, want to learn you something you want to know about it yeah, and a few of our programs were inspired by you guys. So yeah. And we've done we did we've done three email programs specifically because people were interested in in email. And we did no taking because somebody suggested no taking apps. I mean, a lot of the programs are based on what what uh, what our audiences are interested in. Mm -hmm. So and now I, I now I use digital notes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So let's see. Um, can you bring up that slide with the phone number of reference services, or not reference services, but the contact us um, link? Because somebody wanted to know what the number was to call if you had questions. So there's a video chat option on our website, and there's also the um, not a video chat, a text chat option for reference questions. And there's also a phone number. You can actually call any library, any your local library. Um, so there's a text uh, number there. Right, so if you want to text, uh, text, text your questions, you can do that. Um, but there's also, if you want to call on the phone and ask a reference question, then you just call your local library and ask to ask to either. I think it's number three on the in the phone tree, um, where you connect directly to the reference desk, and then you'll talk to a librarian and be able to ask any question you want. That's the nice thing about the reference desk. You can ask, you can ask, you can ask librarians, you can ask them anything. I mean, mm -hmm. assuming that it's you know appropriate but um you can ask me yeah they'll 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 do their best to help you out yeah. um so question um do you most of these apps that you're talking about allow different uh, backgrounds so like you know we have backgrounds um on our video so um on some you can add your own background so this one on zoom i added this background so same thing it's going to ask me access to my gallery 
and then I can pick and choose which background I want. So here I chose this one. Um, but yeah, uh, some of them will have a variety of different backgrounds. Um, so it's all up to you which one. So I'm going to go back to, I'll go back to the reference services. Wait, I want this one. So as you can see, uh, with backgrounds, WhatsApp didn't have it available, but Zoom did. Skype has the ability to enable blur. Google Duel has a portrait blur. So all of these have the options. So it's all about exploring, really. So it's all about exploring these different apps. So if a background is important to you, then then Zoom or um, Skype would be um, something that you would like to use. So it, it it's really up to you which one you want to use and what is important to you. Adriana, is WhatsApp, is that is that a video message or is that a text messaging app? It's text messaging, it's video messaging. Oh, it's like everything. Yeah. So yeah. When the, the, for the person who had a question about the knitting group earlier um, to create a group chat that all of them can use, so they can use WhatsApp would be a good suggestion for that, wouldn't it? WhatsApp, I mean, all of them, you're able to um, text um, and send telegrams and Viber, uh, Viber, Google Duel. You can do messaging. You can do um, just, just text messaging? You can do just text messaging. You can send just videos. Um, you can do live chats. Yeah, I think so they, I think they didn't want video. I think they just wanted text just to keep it simple. Oh yeah, so yeah. you can do just WhatsApp. You can even just do Telegram. Um, you don't have to do the videos. You can just do texting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then another question, which apps can I use to communicate with someone in a different country? So as long as, um, as long as that country allows you to use that app, then anyone can you and like anyone in that group can talk to one another. So for example, WhatsApp, I use that one a lot to talk to my dad who's in Guatemala. So when he's in Guatemala, we use WhatsApp. And I know other people um, use WhatsApp at different countries. So as long as that country allows for that app to be used, you guys can talk to one another. It's all about yeah. registering your phone. I believe Viber is also one that's popular in, in various parts of the world. I know that my parents have used Viber um, when they were traveling and also um, to talk to people in in Ukraine and Russia and it you know not nearby and that, I yeah. believe that's that seems to work I know Skype has been used to talk to people all over the world too so yeah I think mm -hmm. I think a lot of these are actually as long as it's not blocked in that country in that other country like you said um Alan writes it, it would be helpful to take one app one of these apps and go completely through it definitely agree <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot in each of these apps. But on the other hand, they also have a pretty. They also have like I think you mentioned this before, Adrian. That they have a commonality. Yes. So a lot of them were all the same. Uh, like when I was first developing this program, like I was like, I they're all the same. They all have pretty much the same thing. I feel like I'm gonna be sounding repetitive. And then after talking to you, I was like, oh, I should, I can just talk about the services mm -hmm. and see which ones apply to that service. But mm -hmm. really all of them are, are very much the same. It's just what makes them unique is either um, what filters or effects are available, the number of people that you can have. So for example, let's say my family needs we all need to talk to one another. I'm not going to use um, Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook because my family is way bigger than eight people. Um, but maybe it's not, I don't have too many um, too many people, so I don't really need to do, do Zoom. Um, I can just use Telegram, 30 is a great number. And like that's, or maybe that's my cap. So like, let's say I'm, I'm part of a a, a book club and I only want 30 people including myself in this book club um so I can just use telegram and that's how that's the cap like I can't fit any mm -hmm. more than 30. And on this table that you have here the 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 hyphen or the dash uh, means that the option is not available the x means that it is available right 
Oh, X means it's available. The dash means it's not available. Yes. Okay, cool. Where's the, yeah. you, had, you had another table there too. Uh, what was the other table that you had? <laughs> that was the was video effects. Video effects. Okay, this so yeah, and that's the same. Yeah, so it looks like the, the X means that it is available and the dash means that it's not available. Yeah, and and the names, it, what, what, I'm just specifying um, what it's called. So for uh, avatars, the mask that I had, it was called avatars versus on FaceTime, like on the iPhone, it's called a memoji. So it's it's a mask, but they both have different names. So with Zoom, it's called avatars, and with I, FaceTime, it's called memoji. It's like a mask emoji. Yeah. A memoji. Yeah. All right. Um, we have just a little bit more time for questions. And so if you have your final questions, put them in the chat now. We have one question currently in the chat. So uh, I'm using a track phone, which is not usable when I'm in Canada. Does WhatsApp work around that problem? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what a, I don't know what a track phone is. I'm going to look it up really quick to see if see if we can find that find that answer. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a it looks like a type of phone. So it's a it's, it's like a type of phone on a wireless plan. So the I think the answer is if that if that phone has data um, in in that location, then it should be able to use WhatsApp, I believe. Um, or if it can be connected to a Wi-Fi signal. Yeah, if it can make a Wi-Fi in that country, then it can use, because then if it's Wi-Fi, it doesn't have to use any other data. It doesn't have to use the cell phone towers. It just uses the mm -hmm. connection that it's using. So I mean, I guess that's a workaround to use, use Wi-Fi. Yeah, so like my dad, he has a phone that's like from Guatemala. Mm -hmm. He can't use the data when he's here. However, with that phone, if he connects it to a Wi-Fi, he can use um, he can use like WhatsApp to talk to his friends back in Guatemala mm -hmm. um, because it's using the Wi-Fi. It's not using his cell phone data from Guatemala. Yeah. So I want to say yes. So it's, yeah, it's possible yeah. to use it if yeah, but oh, but not at not like not a, not possible to roam around. No, no, he can only use it if he's connected to Wi-Fi. And it mm -hmm. works the same way because he has a cell phone that's from the States, mm -hmm. that is a US phone number. And I, like he can't use it unless he's on Wi-Fi at home. So right. that's the only time that um, he can access his phone and where he's able to talk to us. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Um, I don't see any other questions at the moment. Mm -hmm. So with that, oh, I see that Harriet has risen, her, she has risen her hand. Um, if you have questions, uh, go ahead and put them in the chat because we're not doing the <laughs> we're, uh, uh, update on the track phone. Do burners get around that problem? So burner phones, uh, yes, if they have the, if, um, yeah, if they, if they get data in, if you just have that phone temporarily in that country and it has data and a uh, phone, uh, plan in that country, then it should be able to use WhatsApp just fine. Yeah, as long as, long as it has, as long as it's able to connect. And I encourage you guys to download the app and um, explore it. See before you even um, like suggest it to friends and family. Explore w w whether or not you like it or not. Remember, you don't. You're not married to any of these apps. At any time, you can always um, end um, the application and delete it. So do explore these different apps and see if it fits um, to your lifestyle. So we had two questions come in in the, in the meantime. Um, sometimes I find apps have more issues with connection than others. Are there any rankings of apps with the best connectivity? I don't know. Um, it's a complicated question because there's so many variables yeah. that have to do with the connection. Um, yeah, I, I I never really had a problem with any of them. Um, it, I feel like it more depends on your connection. Um, I, yeah, I feel like it's more about the connection to your Wi-Fi and your data. Um, mm -hmm. But I never really had any issues. Um, like the, the only time I would have issues was because I wasn't connected to my Wi-Fi 
um, mm. like the area I was in when I was um, taking care of a family member, like that area, the connection was horrible. So whenever I was playing around with these apps, like the, it failed, but it failed because of my connection. Right. So really the, the strength of your phone's data is the most, the data connection is the most important thing when it comes to that. Yeah. And we had a question, is WeChat popular to you guys? It's not popular to me because, but then that's not, doesn't say anything because um, I don't use that. I only, I pretty much use Google do. I don't do that much video chatting, to be honest. I do, I, at work, I do it all the time, but we use Microsoft mm -hmm. Teams at work. Um, on my personal phone, I use pretty much Google Duo um, or uh, Google Hangouts. So I'm not a, I'm not a vast explorer of video, uh, video chat apps as Adriana is. <laughs> well, I'm not either. <laughs> um, I don't use it as much as like, um, like what's up was, is my big, um, my biggest one because I that's where I talk to my family or I use FaceTime like those are the two that I really like but I'm really trying to get my friends on to Marco Polo <laughs> one of my co-workers one of my old, uh Carla used to be on Marco Polo um, oh really yeah she, yeah she used she used to love it um is it because yeah. it she would get messages from friends every morning and it would really it pep her up um which was yeah. which is great so it's a nice thing i think you you caught that vibe of marco polo that yeah it, i caught i caught it yeah I, yeah I think it's really obvious and i was like oh this is yeah. different but it's mostly because i i really don't like um facetiming like <laughs> i love you dad <laughs> but sometimes it's like early in the morning and i'm getting a facetime um like that he wants a video chat room i'm like it's morning. Just not ready yet <laughs> i am not ready yet <laughs> well it's like you're on your phone <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so i'm just like so marco polo removes the option like it just removes the live chat option and i was like you can't even do it even if you wanted to <laughs> well you have both on your phone so it's uh, yeah you know, it's hard it, no winning in that situation yeah so um if you don't have wi-fi on a on a tablet what would be the best app to use or which would be the app to use well if you don't have wi-fi then how do you, you cut you can't connect right or so you either have to have wi-fi or your tablet has to have data right, so there yes. are some tablets where it is connected to your uh, cell phone data right, so you have a data but plan you, you have to have a data plan but you have to have wi-fi or you have to be part of a data plan it does not send offline messages <laughs> Mm -hmm. So yeah, either so all of these apps could be good to use as long as you have Wi-Fi or a data plan. So a good example would be like right now when my Wi-Fi fell and it got disconnected, like nothing. No, nothing. You you don't get video, you don't get messages. I had to go back and sign back. I had to get my Wi-Fi started, even though I have a data plan. I mean, the data plan is not connected to my Wi-Fi, but like let's say I was using my phone but I was directly connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, but I have my phone set up where even if it connects, disconnects from Wi-Fi, it's going to connect to my data plan. But let's yeah. say I didn't have the data plan connected to my iPhone, because you can choose to turn it off. Mm -hmm. So let's say I, I only had my phone connected to my Wi-Fi and right now that I knocked it down, it's going to log me off of that app that I was on because it needs to have Wi-Fi or it needs to have a data plan. It won't work without it. Got it. And yeah. All right. We have, looks like we've covered all of the questions that have been um, asked thus far. And so, oh, wait, one just came in. This will be the last one. <laughs> See, but it makes me happy that you guys are asking questions. I love though. the questions. <laughs> I, agree, I agree. I love the questions. That's, that's, I think <laughs> the, the, I like the presentations, but I think the questions are actually the best part. Because you get all kinds of random stuff, you get you have to think about it, and then yeah, you all, the, all the research, <laughs> all the research that you, that you've done really comes in handy with the questions. Yeah, yeah. So with some Zoom programs, I couldn't find ability to put background change before uh, connecting um, to that group. Uh, for instance, if is your ability to show all participants' pictures is that not always available? So. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly. I understand the question, but yeah, I don't. Do, I'm not sure if all of all um, video chat apps have the ability to put on a background. 
Um, I, I don't think that all of them do, but if they do, they should, you should be able to um, adjust that before you get into whatever the chat is. So I know Zoom does let you um, adjust your background. Um, when, it, when, it, when you start connecting, it'll, it'll give you the option of changing your background or being able to preview your video. So you don't just pop mm -hmm. in and you know just like. Yeah, that's what I liked about Zoom. And before we were using WebEx, when you enter the 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 program, mm -hmm. I have to give permission. Like if you, with any of these, they will always ask you permission. So before you enter, it'll ask you, do you want to use the speakers on your laptop? Um, you it'll it give you a picture, a a, a video preview of what it looks like. So I can see beforehand whether or not once I enter the, the room, if I'm gonna have a background or not, or um, whether or not I'm muted or whether or not the camera is on or, not, or, or off. So before you enter, um, it will ask you. Um, and remember, it'll, at any time, if you want to change it, you can change it. So like right now, if I wanna change, um, that you can't see me, you can't see me, but you can hear me. Or if I want to change my background, I can blur my background. So I know. <laughs> so you have choices of how you want um, things to look like. So if I want to do mirror mode, I can do mirror mode. <laughs> I can. Did you switch it? Yeah, I can do. I can't TV. tell because I can't tell that you switched the mirror mode because if your oh, video no. for us, your video doesn't change. It's but only for you, oh. you know, different hand changes. But apparently I can like that's what it what I like about these things is that you can change um, like the backgrounds and it's all about exploring. This is where your exploration comes in handy because um, it's a fairly like, low I risk decided, situation yeah because i couldn't really cover everything like it's there were a lot of apps and so i couldn't really cover all the aspects of all the apps so yes it, it is up to you um to explore all the options that are in each app so if there's one that piqued your interest like telegram download it give it some time it takes about three months in order to um, to start a habit and that includes getting to know an application so Although getting you want the threshold for these apps is i mean they're not they're not extremely difficult to use they're pretty yeah. you know the, the basic features are fairly straightforward so mm -hmm. i think the idea is fearlessly explore fearlessly explore yes <laughs> i think that's a good i think that's something good to end on fearlessly explore <laughs> thanks for, thanks for the presentation adriana and thank everybody Hi, for their questions um thank you all for your questions and thank you for sticking with us and we hope to see you at our program next week have a good afternoon and see you next time.